Okay, so going on to our next learning objective to define the training and validation populations. So for genome-wide selection, we need to designate what the training population is and what the validation population is. So the training population is genotyped and phenotyped, while the validation population is what we're trying to predict. And this is the phenotype values estimated based on the marker effects calculated from the training population. So the validation population is only genotyped, but then we're estimating those phenotypes. And in the code, I have it set so that 60% of the total population is the training population, while 40% is the validation population. And then we'll do correlations in the validation population of what was actually observed and what we predicted. So for 60% of the total population, that's, that's 58 individuals. So 58 uh, individuals, individual numbers need to be sampled in order to determine which individuals are in the training population. And to do random sampling in R, it's just the sample command. And I set the, I create a vector of these random numbers. So we, so it's sample 1 to 196, since those are the numbers that we need to sample in between. And then we sample 58 of those numbers in order to get the training population. And so these end up being the row numbers of our matrix marker matrix and our phenotype matrix. And the sample numbers are different every time the code is run, since these sample numbers are different every time. Uh, and this will affect the correlation accuracy. So you need to run for many iterations in order to get a better estimate of the correlation accuracy. So if you see, if you're running the code and you see different output here, that's just because R is sampling different numbers than what was sampled when I ran it. So these are the column, this is just the head command, so the first five uh, random numbers that were sampled, and so these are the row numbers that we will use in the training population. So in order to get the row numbers for the validation population, I use the set diff command, and this just gives us the numbers that were not in, that were not sampled in the um, training population, so it's the validation population. And um, these are the 38, 38 individuals that we will keep in our validation population. And again, if you're seeing different numbers and you're running it, it's just because R is sampled different numbers than what was sampled when I ran it. Okay, so to set the um, training and validation matrices, um, I renamed the um, pheno underslash train and marker underslash train as the phenotype and marker matrices for the values in the training population, while the pheno valid and the marker valid are the, uh, val are the matrices for the validation population. So this just goes through and selects the row numbers um, that, were s that were sampled before in the slides before for the training population and the test population. Okay, so now to run mix.solve and to determine the accuracy of these predictions. <laughs> 